U.S., Germany, India, and China, who are technology giants, we need to expand our science and technology field. Today, Science and Technology Minister Naledi Pando will host a symposium to try and seek ways to increase funds in this crucial sector. Business leaders, CEOs, and chief strategists, JSE Top 100 companies are also expected to attend. To speak to us more, we are joined by the minister herself, Naledi Pando, who is, as I mentioned before the break, in our Pretoria studio. So good to see you, minister. Thanks again for being with us on the program. Morning, Leanne, and morning to your viewers, and uh, we're very pleased to have the opportunity to speak to you today. Now, I mean, this, this, this symposium is being organized by the National Advisory Council on Innovation, following research showing business expenditure on research and development has declined over the last five yeah. years. Why, why is this? Is this just a sign of the times we're living in? Well, it's certainly, uh, I think, impacted upon by the uh, economic crisis that we're facing uh, both in South Africa and globally, we have seen a decline in uh, investment in innovation as well as research. Uh, but what has been, I think, good is that government has maintained uh, its investment and increased slightly, but we've not been able uh, to close the gap created by uh, businesses' uh, declining uh, uh, amounts. So what we're trying to do is meet with business in order to encourage them to look at working more closely with science councils. And of course, when you look at these indicators, it's not just the financing that you put into investment. It's also your employment and use of uh, science institutions, employment of researchers. We'd like to see them taking on more young PhD uh, uh, graduates, uh, women, black people who have PhDs, have them as researchers in their companies, generating new ideas, new products, uh, new processes. So we're really going to talk about the full ambit of activity within the innovation system, mm. introduce them to incentives uh, that are available, and uh, encourage them to work more closely with us to close this gap uh, of inadequate investment in R&D. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I can only imagine that we, we've lost critical development in, in all sectors due to this drop in, in, in investment. Um, how do you think that the symposium is going to try and rectify the situation? Well, I think one of the things I've discovered is that we all know very little about what each of us uh, is doing and is capable of. So we have to close the gap between government and business. Uh, Naki identified the need for us to host symposia of this kind, where we'd have the leadership of higher education, of business, as well as of research institutions coming together to talk about what we're doing and also to give us their perspective on whether interventions we've put in place are actually adequate uh, to the needs of South Africa. So it's going to be a meeting of the minds, sharing of information, and hopefully uh, the articulation of new ideas and proposals uh, that government might have to consider in order to improve our performance in this particular set uh, of areas. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you've, you, you're going to have top figures from JSC listed companies. Um, you know, this is, this is obviously a, a big move as well, and to have them there is, 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 is fantastic. What is their view on the lack of spending on R&D? Well, that's what we want to find out. Yeah. Um, we've invited them in order for us to have a chat. I suspect um, that we haven't really had sufficient reaching out by universities. You know, in other countries, um, research performing institutions employ individuals who actually have as their job contact with business to alert them to new ideas, creative products, so that they then would say, well, this one suits my business, I'm going to take it up. I don't see that interaction uh, sufficiently mm. between ourselves as research performers and those who would be beneficiaries of the innovation coming out of our own investment. Yeah. So we need to you know, be out there much more to say, hey, do you know that uh, there's a clever Tandy over there with a really exciting uh, pharmaceutical product? Would you like 
as a business to yeah. develop it. Yeah. Have yeah. you heard of this diagnostic tool? Are you aware, aware in agriculture of this technology? So we've got to be far more mobile, far more connected, far more uh, uh, astute about the capabilities of our country and the potential that lies within uh, our research and development institutions in South Africa. Yeah. And, and, and certainly getting, getting this investment for these students and, and to try and keep them off the streets because, I mean, uh, that, that, that photograph <coughs> that went viral of that young girl standing on a corner saying, I've got a chemical engineering degree and I cannot get a job. I have my CV with me. Please help me. Those are things we have to, we have to get around. Um, Minister, uh, as much as I'd love to talk about that, I also just want to get a very quick glimpse from you. Um, at the event, you're going to be releasing um, um, the the uh, the science, technology, and innovation facts and figures about the performance of our national system of innovation. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a bit of a hint? Obviously, you'll save the the nitty gritty and meat for the for the symposium. But is it looking good? Is it looking bad? Well, the report is the report of the chairperson uh, of NACI and the NACI Council. I'm really wary of stealing their thunder. <laughs> okay. Uh, but fortunately, I have read the report and. Uh, there's a lot of good. I'm actually excited. Our country is making progress, but we need to intensify our efforts. We can be up there with the best and the groundwork, the foundation has been laid. I think we can only go up and up from now on. Yeah. Minister, let's leave it there. Good luck. I hope it goes well. And, uh, you know, investment and innovation, they go hand in hand. And unfortunately, that's what you need to take a country forward when it comes to science and technology. Our minister in charge of that portfolio, Naledi Pando in our Pretoria studios, thanks again for your time. Good luck with everything that happens today. It starts today, as we say, and the idea is to seek more funds for this crucial sector. Right, 23 minutes past seven. Let's take a break. When we return, we've got your sports news, we've got weather, and we've got our news headlines. Stay tuned to Morning Live.